Hello guys, welcome to Night 7 for Exotics. You're in front of the treat. And this treat today is the fourth gathering of the season that we've come up with. And it's actually in Al Hazm. Al Hazm had never ever hosted a car event of classic cars. And this is a first for us and for them. And it's in collaboration with McLaren Cafe. And we've called it Al Hazm Classic Car Show. Let's keep it short and start the walk around. Let's go. The first two cars that you have in front of us are actually, <laughs> are actually my cousin's car that we're going to showcase on the YouTube channel very soon, inshallah. Yalla, go, leave. Wow, it's a lifting kit. <laughs> oh, I love this. Yalla, go. <laughs> Did you know? that the rims are custom. I mean, everything is custom about the car. It's, it's really raw material. Yesterday we brought a cleaning company and they were like, do we clean the rims or do we keep them like this? Imagine. And that's his second treat actually. He, he's in love with C10s. These two cars actually won so many shows because he's the kind of person. Oh. <laughs> so anyways. Uh, we're going to be featuring these cars eventually on our YouTube channel within this season. Uh, but it's just to give you a glimpse on the cars that he brought just for us. So basically, let's just say something. Special thanks to Saud Al Ansari, Hamad Al Drift, and a guy named Fahad. These three guys are into social media of cars in Qatar. And with their support and help, they are the ones actually that brought these cars together. From my side, I just brought my cousin, for God's sake. I mean, these guys, I mean, they boosted us within this gathering and we appreciate it. Now let's see the cars. First of all, we have a 240K GT Skyline. Uh, this car is fully restored. Uh, and I mean, it's immaculate. The second car, and it's kind of, it gets me emotional when I talk about it. This GT Skyline actually toured the world to attract people for the 2022 uh, football uh, World, Cup. World Cup. And it actually belongs to a dear friend that passed away and we call him Hasayev. Uh, and special thanks to Hamad Drift for buying this car from his family and taking care of it for years to come because this is part of our car culture and car history, like literally. Let's walk you just a little bit around the car and give you some history. Uh, and I'm gonna say it in Arabic. أخوي حمد شكرا جزيلا أن جبت هالموتر عندنا هذا يا شباب موتر أخونا حسايف رحمة الله عليه يعني أنا واحد لما كنت في فرنسا when I was in France uh, I was thanking Hamad and I was talking about the car in Arabic and who does it belong to. لما هذه السيارة جات فرنسا uh, أنا شخصيا يعني استضفت أخونا حسايف رحمة الله عليه and it's a treat for me to see it here يعني هذا شيء أنا وايد فخور أن أشوفه عندي في التجمع هني uh, I, I was saying that I, I was very close to this guy when he came to visit France with this car I actually took care of him for some time and it's a great honor to have this car in this event thank you very much Hamad Drift and thank you Hasayev family now let's continue uh, this Z is fully restored also by Hamad Drift. Hamad Drift has a YouTube channel. He's one of the few uh, Qataris that actually work on his cars. So this car is fully restored and believe it or not, it's fully painted and it has full PPF. I mean, it's just impossible to see it, but because it's made in yeah, one... The yeah, it is. Okay, so basically this car, and I'm proud to say, he did the full PPF and the full polish inside 767 Auto Care, and they are one of the sponsors of this car event. Let's go to the next. This car also belongs to the second sponsor to this event, and it's Haggard Garage. Naval, thank you for bringing the street. I know it took you so much time to work on this. Shukran jazeelan ya Naval, and I jibt hadi sayyara. 
يعني صراحة it's really it's really it's really nice ما شاء الله تبارك الله I mean it's immaculate thank you very much this Z is just something else and now let's go to this actually we have two transams no not two three no not three four transams that well we have one that is pure custom and it's only one in the world like this let's show you this so this transam actually came from the states came from the factory of transam itself the guy was studying in uh, the states for almost 10 years he brought the car here it had almost zero mileage he kept it in a storage unit for almost almost three years and he took it out just for this show and i really 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 appreciate it everything on the car is immaculate even the roof everything everything like the car is immaculate to the point that if you open the door and i think the doors are open on most of these cars yes look at the inside everything was done in the transam factory in the states and everything is functional mashallah again i mean i told you guys like this is our first show and to have not just one but two 911 gts wide body and it was by pure 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 coincidence actually one of them i think i got from anupam and the other one i got from uh, Instagram itself uh, I mean face your eyes I mean these guys they know how to pick cars the two cars are immaculate like the first one yes it has the girth it has the classic looks but look at the wing for God's sake I mean it's just I'm mind blown by these things and I think it resembles uh, the RWDs right carbon fiber. it is carbon fiber I mean, it's just, uh, and each car has a nice exhaust tune-on. And even the reinforcement. I mean, the, the sky's the limit when it comes to these cars, but just to cut up a Porsche and white fenders on it, it's just crazy. You have a <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I thought they, I think they bought the cars like this, right? <laughs> Look at the back of this car. Go back and check the number plate. <laughs> Hi, this is something about Qatari, Qatari cars. <laughs> okay, let's check these out. So this car belongs to a good friend of ours that was brought by Saud Al Ansari, and Saud Al Ansari, as I told you, is one of the YouTubers in Qatar. In Qatar, we are only few YouTubers. Uh, maybe uh, me and Anupam, we are the only ones that are talking in English. But uh, I mean, these guys, if you go check their YouTube channels, it's nice just to get more info. This is a beetle for you, restored to a sort, sort of what, let's say, immaculate condition, but the car is nice. I mean, it's drivable, it's a daily driver, everything. The roof, the convertible. Oh, yeah. You have to manually remove <laughs> Exactly. Everything. With this wind, come on, it's not going to be possible. Let's open the car up. It's a custom dashboard. Yeah. I love this storage space. If you have a Volkswagen Beetle and you don't have this storage unit uh, you don't have a Beetle basically I mean it's just nice it's just nice, it has nice number plate. so I love the number plate because it has 974 on it I know but still yeah. I mean what are the chances of finding 974 in Qatar as a number plate like the two most cherished numbers and guitar are 123 and 974, right? And other numbers that we cannot say. This Daytona in front of us is not a real Daytona because if it was, I don't think it's gonna be here. Well, I think it was gonna be here because we had a car that left uh, and we're gonna post uh, some pictures or videos if we can find, uh, like right now, just based on the simple fact that this car cost around know how many millions but around six hundred thousand dollars or more I, I don't know but I, I don't know the exact price but it's in the millions and it's called the Picard and it was given to us by Al Asmakh and uh, the car had to leave because I mean the weather was changing for the past two days there was uh, some uh, uh, rain and dust and so on so we told him please come pick up the car and then we stayed with these cars and he actually I actually called him and told him 
remove two Corvettes. We don't have pictures of them or videos of them, but uh, the first generation, and the, the, it was the second and the third generation. Anyways, back to the Daytona. So this Daytona is a replica. It was made in a garage. I don't remember the name, but I'm gonna put it in the link in the description below. It's the only garage in Qatar that assembles cars, assemble car parts, factory fives, so on and so off. And I was even asking them, can we replicate an F1 car so we can drive on the road, but it has to be lifted? They're like, yes, the sky's the limit. Let's sit and talk about it. So we have to talk about this with them. We have a nice kit called GTM. Have you seen that? No. Factory 5. No. We'll go to the website and we'll see. Really? It looks really nice. It kind of looks like the uh, Ford GT or something. It's nice. Okay. So, yeah. Alas. Then now I know in a certain way where can we get cars that are going to boom yeah. in the car society or even into the international. But we, we have to daily drive them. Yeah, it can be daily drive. Really? You okay. Oh, yeah. It's a daily drivable car. Yeah. And the owner of this car is the proud owner of one of my dream cars ever, which is the purple hot rod that everyone loved. Because this screams, take pictures of me. And it's a daily drivable car, believe it or not. And let's check the inside. Man, I love the car, like literally. When I saw it the first time, I said to him, this is what dreams are made of. And just to have this mini collection, is just crazy. Check it from the back. MashaAllah, Thank you, bro, for bringing this car to the show. <laughs> they made me do this. They said, do a small one because we need a small one. I'm like, okay, cool. I did almost 200 of these. The proud owner for Daytona is the proud owner of this car, and it's the proud owner of this car. And this car is a fully restored Mini. It has some minor modifications. The car is very fast. I don't know the mods on it, but in a certain way, they're thinking about reselling it for a hefty value after they redo the interior and I love it to death. I mean, it's just, it was repainted, re, uh, I'm not gonna say design because like everything is semi-stock, but uh, if you, I don't know if it's open or not. Yeah, it is. Check the door handles as an example. Check the wood, check everything. Everything, I mean, it has some way to go, but they're gonna work on the interior after this show, but it's just nice. Okay, let's go to the Thunderbirds. This Thunderbird, I got the connection from Anupam because he actually filmed this car. You did a photo shoot for this car, right? So this Thunderbird is restored to a mint condition. And this Thunderbird that belongs to Alasmach is actually original spec from the factory. To have these two cars next to each other by pure coincidence, is crazy. Masha'Allah, 67, 67, 67, 67, 67. I mean, it's just immaculate. Uh, I, I have nothing to say besides thank you. And thank you to all of them because they could have not brought their cars for the first ever Al Hazm Classic car show that was made by us and by our sponsors and supporters in the social media. Saud Al Ansari, Hamad Drift, Fahad, uh, all these guys. Uh, uh, and let's talk about our sponsors for a bit. So our sponsors are as follows. So we said 767 Auto Care uh, in Selwa Road. They are giving us actually for each participant 1,500 as a coupon for them to use as they wish. Uh, detailer is giving us a discount of 25% for whatever they want also, the owners of these cars. Uh, Haggard Garage is giving three coupons of 1,000, plus if the person DMs us on an Instagram, we can get him 
a full discount on other things that he wants to do to his car in the garage. Fourth, we actually went to McLaren Cafe and we've told them we want, <laughs> we want approximately 55 coupons each for 50 reals that we can give out to the participants for free. And also I did personally something crazy out of some of the amounts that we've did out of our social media because as you know this YouTube channel is a partnership between me and Anna Pump. I didn't get anything from his money it was from the money that I made from uh, the social media part and I went to one of my best friends uh, numbers underscore QAT bought three numbers from him because you know we're into buying numbers here and I took two numbers from me personally and I'm gonna do a small competition for the owners we're gonna just like withdraw a number and someone is gonna win a plate number and it's just to give a certain appreciation and importance to this kind of event now let's continue oh yeah as I said we have the sponsors but also we have our connections Saud Al Ansari he's into classic cars Fahad he's into uh, Fahad he's into I think uh, uh, wheelies right on two tires uh, drifting you know what I mean uh, freestyle drifting and stuff like that with four by four cars and Hamad the drift well you know it Hamad drift right and he's and these guys are mechanics in a certain way and through their connection we had this this Lincoln is not like any Lincoln you can find maybe in your life just because it's a Cartier Lincoln and you can see it in some parts and the color is from factory the car is immaculate and you can see this Lincoln Continental Cartier Mark V this is the year and then the model the engine the speed and some like information about Cartier and so on and so on let's show them some so first of all we have this part on the two sides right you can see it yeah no Yes. MashaAllah. Then we have it here also. In the back. The Continental with this logo. Then you have it from the other side. Here. The car is immaculate and it's open. And if you go on the clock, <laughs> This time in the Cartier. MashaAllah, tabarakallah, the car is nice. The car is very nice. Uh, the burgundy piping and everything, it comes as it is because Cartier, they are known for this color. But now it became kind of reddish. But this was the original car. I think it's Cartier leather, right? Yes, everything is. Whatever you can make from Cartier inside the car, they've made it. And the car drives. Like a treat, I mean. Did you notice this line? No, where? No, I didn't. MashaAllah. So this is hand painted. This is what he told me yesterday. And I mean, it's just, I mean, classic cars, they don't make them like this anymore. One of the guys that I need to thank, his name is Satam al Shimari. And I mean, thank you. Thank you. Just tell me, Akhoi Satam, and I'll have to tell you, Fahad, and Nick, you did to start with Shabab Hadol. He's one of the reasons why the show or the event is, uh, let's say, uh, how can I say? Uh, Going very well. Oh yeah, very, very well. So Satam actually bought this car from the embassy of Bahrain in Qatar, low mileage, kind of first owner-ish. It has some small details that I don't know why he hates, like the paint is peeled a little bit here, but it's a, code, right? it's a clear code, but the guy wants to take care of it. I'm telling him not to repaint it, but he wants to. The car is so immaculate, it's daily drivable. And he's been driving it for the past, I don't know how many weeks or how many months. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. This, <laughs> this Chrysler came to us. Actually, the owner of this Chrysler is the same owner of the Beetle. And it's the same owner of this uh, FG Land Cruiser. And 
this guy, he loves classic cars, and this guy came from Saud's side, and this car is immaculate, is daily drivable, the AC is very cold, and it's a treat to have it, it's a treat to have it in this show. I mean, it's just amazing. Y you know, I remember these cars from uh, the American movies. You can open the door, I think, from my side, if you want to check it out. The car is full burgundy, spec to perfection, and it's the highest spec you can get. Yeah, the Fifth Avenue edition. Exactly. Now you can see it from the inside, mashallah, tabarak, Allah. I mean, just to keep the wood trim this clean and the leather this clean is just... Some people, they know how to take care of their cars, yeah, right? Yeah, even new cars you can find. Kind of yeah, but the classic car, I don't know why, but I think the type of leather. leather. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. comment below, tell us where they, where do they find these kind of leathers? <laughs> this Caprice came from Sutam's side also, one of his friends. Uh, I mean, we had calls and, and messages. Can I bring my car? Can I bring my car? And we couldn't say no to anyone. Uh, it's just, it's a treat. Hopefully, yes, it's open. I love Caprices because I'm a YouTube fanatic, right? Anupam, me personally. I want us, if you would accept. The box, uh, Chevy, right? <laughs> I want a dunk box Chevy. <laughs> I don't know why. Just imagine, the car is in red. The interior is whatever, uh, cream, uh, white, yellow, whatever. Big rims, like, I don't know, 20s, 22s, 30s? <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> with the sound system, I, I mean, <laughs> would love to. The cassettes, well, the cassettes, you can buy them even on Satam Kart. Satam has a collection of sets, of cassettes.